In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Modern Art 2 Photoshop action. So we're going to be using the action on this photo here to create something very similar to this. So the way the action works is wherever we brush over our photo, uh, it will create that painted look. You'll see different angled uh, strokes all over the area that you brush. And wherever you don't brush, uh, it will outline the areas, uh, the contours of your photo with the, like a sketch look. So just like that. So I've got a few other examples here. I had this photo here, and created this, from that to that. So you can see with this guy, I brushed around his head and uh, his chest and stomach and a little bit on his pants. So you can see the area that I haven't brushed, it's filled that in with these sketchy lines. This car, again, you can see where I didn't brush, the lines sort of taper off here. Okay, so let me just close these down and we'll start off with our uh, base photo here. So when you open up your photo, just look in the layer panel and make sure your photo is set as the background. So if you open up your photo and you can't see that background text with a lock symbol, you need to set it as the background. So you can't just rename it background, otherwise it won't work. You need to go to layer, new, background from layer, and it will set it as a background. So still in the layer panel, uh, just go to the top right hand corner icon and just go to panel options. Just make sure that add copy to copy layers and groups are selected down the bottom here. Next go to image mode and just make sure you're in RGB color mode at 8 bits of channel is selected. And lastly, if you're just going to uh, image, image size, just make sure you're using a, a decent sized photo. So uh, this is a good size to work with. I wouldn't recommend using photos under a thousand pixels because uh, uh, the quality of those of the results might uh, diminish a bit so uh, I recommend anywhere from 1500 to 3000 pixels for this action okay, let's cancel that so what we need to do first is create a new layer and it must be called brush it needs to be all lowercase otherwise the action won't work click OK so with our brush layer selected uh, what I want to do is hit B on the keyboard to get my brush out. I'm going to uh, right click to get my brushes up. I'm going to select a soft brush and I'm just going to pick a color. It doesn't matter which color you use. And start brushing over my photo. Uh, so yeah, just keep in mind that the area that I brush is the area that uh, I want to have that painted look. And anything else it's going to have that pencil sketch look. So uh, it's going to be pretty rough here. So I want that painted a little bit uh, on these weights. And I'm going to keep his arm, I'm not going to brush his arm, so just to demonstrate how uh, that sketch look works. And just a little bit on the weights here. Uh, so that's it. This action is ready to go. So uh, we just need to load it up first. We go to Window Actions. The Actions panel will pop up here. Just go to the top icon, select Load Actions, and select Modern Art 2 to ATN. And here it is here. So all we need to do now is click Play on the action. The action takes around three to four minutes. So just click Play and then come back to Photoshop in a few minutes' time. So I'm just going to skip the video ahead to the result of this one and uh, we're just going to talk about all the ways to customize it and uh, something very important to know when using this action on uh, people, especially their faces. So let me just click play and I'll fast forward the video. So the action stopped and you can see the result here. So one of the very first things I'm going to discuss is how to clean up um, people's faces after using this action because generally it applies the um, all these brush strokes over the entire area that we brush so there's always going to be areas of your photo that you want to be a real focal point and want to be much clearer uh, than the rest so we're going to clean up the face bits so let's uh, just minimize this actions panel so the first thing we want to do here is minimize collapse all these folders that are open so with the folder that's already selected 
on a PC, hold down Control Alt, Command Option on a Mac, and just click on that arrow, and it will collapse all the folders. So now uh, everything's much neater. So what I first discussed was uh, clean up the face. So what we're going to do is with this layer that's highlighted in yellow, it's called Points of Interest Brush Mask. So what we want to do is select the mask, hit B on the keyboard, get a white uh, white brush, and use an opacity that's pretty soft because we want to subtly brush the face details back in. And if I just start brushing really softly, you can see his face come back in and it still looks quite natural and blends well uh, with everything else. So if I hold down shift on this to hide the mask, you can see all it's doing is we're brushing back onto the original photo. But you want to use a soft opacity so that we still um, still get that, if I zoom right in here, that painted look. And you can get a black brush and then uh, brush the original look back in. So you can really fine tune. See, I'll switch to white. I'll clear up around his mouth. Okay, just like that. So that's very important when using this action on particularly portraits or people or anything else really. Um, use this layer to brush in the areas that you want to be much clearer than everything else. Okay. So up the top here we have the brush layer. Still there. If you wanted to run the action again you can just delete these three and play the action. So that's that one. So the top folder here, we have a whole bunch of color options. So just quickly going down the line here, we have uh, overall brightness. You can double click on this one and adjust the brightness. So I'll just make this a little bit darker, fraction brighter, and you can um, boost the brightness of the shadows with this one here or um, crush them, crush the highlights, sorry. Overall contrast, this one, you use the opacity of this layer, so currently it's set to zero, but if I just hover over opacity there, click and drag to the right, you can see that it's increasing the overall contrast. So I'll just add a little bit there. Overall saturation, if you double click on this one, by default I've increased the saturation from the original colors of the photo, so you can turn it up higher, or if you wanted to, you could target specific colors. So if I could just, I can just uh, target the reds and turn up the saturation there of the reds, which I might actually um, keep like that. So here we have some color options, and the way these work is if you just uh, scroll down and uh, click on these eyes, turn on the visibility for the layer, you can get different color looks. And what I like to do is just, uh, you can combine them, so you can just adjust the opacity of the folders, like I'm doing there. So I can have a little bit of that one. I can have, say, a little bit of this one, go back to zero, brush that in a little bit, a little bit of this one. Okay, so you can build uh, different color looks using that method. So going on down, uh, we've discussed this one, very important layer. So here's the Modern Art 2 folder. This has all the effects inside. One thing to know about this folder, uh, it works in a similar way to points of interest, but if you brush black into this mask, you can uh, brush away uh, anywhere and it will reveal the original photo underneath just like I'm doing there, so you can be creative in what areas of your photo you want to appear uh, much realistic, like the original photo. So going inside, uh, there's a bunch of layers here we're gonna talk about now. So this top one, canvas texture, if I just zoom in, you can see there's a very subtle uh, horizontal or canvas texture running through the image. If you don't want that, you can just turn this one off. For this example, I might actually I'll leave it on. Um, overall sharpening just adds a tiny little bit of sharpening. Uh, it's very subtle. You can leave that on or off. 
increased contrast, this is uh, similar to the one in here. So if you just, uh, by default, the opacity is set to 50, so if you mess around with the contrast of that, you can boost up, um, as you can see there, the highlights are boosting, or if you put it to zero, it really, really flattens everything out. So I quite like it with the highlights up some more. Brush stroke variation. So if I just flick this folder on and off, you can see that adds a different combination of brush strokes. So uh, when you go into the Modern Art folder, flick this on and off to see which variation you like better. But what you can also do is um, blend between the two. So you can just adjust the overall opacity of this folder. That's zero, I'm slowly bringing it up. So you can find uh, a balance which looks good between the two. Or if you flick it off and you say, for example, like, uh, the look of his uh, stomach here better with it off, but everything else you preferred the original look. So what you could do is just grab this mask, brush black, and just turn up the opacity, and it will reveal the, uh, the look which was uh, there if you hide the folder. Okay, so I'm just going to fill that with white. So inside here, there's just a, a bunch of different layers uh, which help build the effect, so you can turn those uh, on one by one, or turn them off. I think if you duplicate it, if you duplicate it, you can sort of increase the, um, the density of it. So that's that one. Extra brush strokes, so if I turn this on and off, you can see it just adds some overall uh, strokes and adds that uh, extra detail, those extra white strokes around the edges of where he brushed, so you can see that when I turn that on and off. Uh, inside here is a bunch of layers. Uh, this one here, increase stroke intensity. If you turn that one on, you'll see that it just uh, ramps up the overall intensity of all those brush strokes. I don't mind that, but I don't want it 100%, so I might leave it around there. Uh, this one here, EBS 5 is just uh, turned off. By default, it just adds a little bit of white, extra white, um, or color, I guess, around the edges. Okay, so I'll come back to why that uh, mask has a big red X to it. It's um, to use if you want to use a, a very dark background with your image. So this one here, flat and mid tones, it's very subtle. Uh, you can see the stomach there, if I flick that on and off, Okay, uh, overlay highlights. If I turn this one on and off, again, it's very subtle. It might be more prone if I move this up. So what it does is uh, it just overlays the highlights of your photo. So it can boost the, um, how prominent the highlights are. So you can experiment with moving this around the layer order, but default it's in there. Extra uh, edge detail, this is very subtle effect. Just adds a little bit of detail in the edges. Long brush strokes. Now, uh, this is the one, if I flip this folder on and off, these are the long strokes that sort of shoot out from all the areas that we brush. So you can see his head there, the weights, uh, and down the bottom here, it shoots down. So inside here is a bunch of uh, layers. So you can turn these on and off, you can move them around just like that, so you can hit Control J to duplicate them. If you want to mess around with uh, repositioning all those brush strokes, you can do that there. And again, if there's some that you don't like, just hit, just grab the mask, grab a black brush, and start brushing away uh, where you don't want. Okay, so here's the sketch lines folder. Uh, just by default, the folder is set to 50%, so if you want to make the lines more prominent, just crank that up to oops, up to 100, just like that. And if there's some lines that you don't want, again, just use the mask and brush away any details you don't like. So I don't like these lines um, going up the top there, just taper that off a bit. And if you go inside here, there's a couple of different layers you can go on, you can go in, uh, we can turn the whole folder off if you don't want the lines, or you can uh, scroll up and turn them on uh, one by one. Again, duplicate them to make the lines more prominent. So I'm just gonna 
drop the opacity just fold it back down down there shadow filler uh, very subtle effect again you can flick that on and off to see how that uh, affects your photo long pencil strokes so these are the the lines you can see around the outside um, they're very subtle it just adds a bit of extra texture around the edges so you can leave that one on and off uh, background texture if I flip this on and off there are just a couple of layers in here so that's those and here you can adjust the background color so like I was saying before if you use a dark background what you'll see is if you've got all these um, all these little strokes which um, I created this action uh, more for lighter backgrounds because if you sort of you know lead around there you can see those white strokes and actually uh, looks more organic but not with a black background so what you can do if you just hover over this extra brush strokes just click on that mask and those lines are gone so just remember that little that little trick if you want to use uh, this action with a darker background and if you want to hide that mask again hold down shift click on it and it's gone so I'm just going to bring this back up to this color okay so that is essentially it uh, just experiment with using these masks and brushing on areas that you want to appear and what uh, you don't want to appear so for example the sketch lines and uh, another thing to note about uh, the way this action works is that say if there were trees or you know some a lot more detail in the background not all those lines would appear so for example if there was a, a tree in this far right hand corner it probably wouldn't be sketched over because the sketch effect actually tapers off uh, from around the area that we brush so if I brushed here the sketch lines are only really going to go around to about here but if you want to the sketch lines will appear over your entire photo just hold down shift and hide that mask so you can see that all the lines have come back in um, and you can see those lines down here on the weights um, so, so if I just if I hold down alt on this mask we can travel inside that mask so you can see that everywhere uh, in white is where the sketch lines are going to appear everywhere in black is where it's not going to appear so um, again you can brush onto this mask to control exactly where you want the lines to appear just like that okay so I hope you enjoy using the action and if you have any uh, questions just email me thanks